And welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're sitting here looking down at our Cessna 172 and we're here at uh, Parafield Airport, which is one of my local airports. You see this one quite a lot in my videos. But what I thought I would do for you today is uh, go through the settings for the views for you guys so that uh, you can get up so quickly. There's a lot of new people. I've had a lot of questions on this through uh, other videos. How do I do this? How do I do that? And I haven't really done one on it, so let's jump right into it. So, if we hit the W key, this is the uh, the cockpit view that you will see when you first go into it. And you can use your mouse, you can see my cursor hopefully on the screen. I can push my right mouse button down, and I can grab the screen, and I can have a great old look around. But that is not necessarily what you want to be doing. So let's hit the W key again. And... Uh, I would highly recommend if you come up here to the settings, go to your graphics, and personally, I tend to set this at about 90 degrees. If you're flying, uh, you can, now look, you can move this to whatever is suitable for you, but I reckon about 90 degrees is good, and it's just a little bit more realistic. It's, it's you know, you would see a lot wider view with your own eyes naturally, so um, I really think that's a good one. now. To move yourself around here and get yourself positioned correctly, you can do a number of things. You can use the arrow keys. You can go left, go right, you can go up, you can go down, just by using your arrow keys. So you can get yourself set up in a position that you think is quite natural for you. You can use the Q and the E key, and that will turn you left and right. Nice and easy, isn't it? Left and right. Q and E. Now, if you wanted to look up or down, you can use the R and the F key. So R will rotate you up, F will rotate you down. If you were looking at a 737 and you wanted to look at the center console, you can rotate up with R and then use the E to turn around and have a look at that. And then if you wanted to zoom in, you've got the period and the, or the comma key if you like, and the full stop key down on your keyboard and you can zoom in and you can zoom out. So let's rotate around with the Q key again. Let's use the F and R to rotate down. So we'll use the F to come down. And uh, I'm going to use the arrow keys again just to line myself up. Rotate that around a bit. And if you get a bit lost, hit the W key again. And that will just center you again. So I'd like to see a little bit of the, the front. Um, I use the F key just to rotate the nose down a little bit so I can see the instruments and all the important things, flaps and all that sort of stuff that's all readily available. And also if you need to guys, you can click just here at the base of the uh, control column and it will disappear so you can get to your other buttons if that's what you need to do. Or you want to do a run up and things like that and that's just getting in the way to get down here to your uh, controls and down to your starter. So let's put that back there. So. Let's just quickly run through that again. So if you want to go left and right, arrow keys, up and down, arrow keys, rotate left and right, Q and E. And if you want to rotate up and down, it is R and F. Now, once you get yourself set up in a position where that you're comfortable, you can save that view for yourself by using control. So you hold down control and then you hit the number pad key. So I like to use number eight because that's always my front view. If I want to have a 45 degree left view, I just use my Q to turn left. Now that's a little bit high uh, and then the, the cockpit's getting in the way. So I just rotate it, push it down a little bit, use the down arrow so that I can see out. And that's helpful when you're flying around the, the circuit. And we go control and I use number seven and then using the Q key again to rotate around. It's always nice to have a 90 degree view. Q and number four is how I save that. Now you can save this any way you want to, it doesn't matter. Now I'm gonna use the E key to rotate around and come back to 45 degrees on the other side. And I'm gonna go control and nine. And then E, I'm gonna rotate around and get a 90 degree view to the right. Now, if you wanna go down a bit so you can check flaps and things, you might just adjust that a little. But we'll go control and number six. So eight is here, seven, four, 
if I hit six, I'll look straight across to the other side. My head breaks off because I go backwards, but that's never, that's not a problem. And then we'll go number nine and eight. So we're all set up there. Now, if you want to be the uh, the, the instructor, um, use the arrow keys and slip yourself across, and use the Q and the E to rotate a little bit left, maybe. Find yourself up and down again with the arrow keys to a position that you're comfortable with. And if you like, control and maybe number five, you could save that view. Now, what about if you want to have a look at your instruments? You want a quick look, quick look view into your instruments. So let's use our, go back to eight for me, or W to center it. Move across to the right if you want with the arrow keys, arrow keys left and right. And then we're going to use our full stop to zoom in. And I'm going to use my arrow keys to come back down. So we've got all our instruments right ahead of us here. And what I'll do there is go control and number two. So if I go five, seven, four, five, I can be the instructor, nine on the numpad, six on the numpad, and number two. You can have a quick look at our instrumentation. And if you want to, you can come across here and uh, set that up like that if you just want to do instruments only and you're going to do an ILS approach or something and you don't want to be able to see outside use control and say number three if you like so that's all set up and you've got all your inside views so you can set yourself around you can quickly look at what you want to see not a problem again now if you're back in the 737 you can use the E to rotate a little bit to the right Use the R to look up. You might use the E again to look around a little bit further. You can use the period key or the stop, full stop, or the comma to zoom in and out. And then hit control and say number one. So we can go number eight, seven, four, one, there we go, five, two, six, and number three. So that's all your views already set up, guys. So you've, you can hit number eight, come back again. And then we've got all the external views. So let's have a quick look at external views. Um, there's a number of them that are, that are very helpful. So you go shift and your number keys. Guys, across the top, underneath your F keys, not using your F, using your numbers, okay? So shift one, which you hear. Now this one doesn't rotate other than with your look left and look right, uh, your, your rotate keys, okay? You can rotate up and down, but you can't do any more than that. Shift and two, you can look all the way around here. Now you can zoom in and out with your mouse as well, so I'm just zooming in with the mouse, zoom away, or you can use your full stop and your comma key if you want to, to zoom in and out. Uh, another thing you can do is you can hold down the control as you do that and it will slow right down. If you have a nice gentle uh, sweep of something, then you can do that as well. If you haven't been making videos like uh, what we're doing today, so you can have a bit of a look there. If you hold that down initially, the control, and then move right like this, you can let the control go and then you can use your mouse or the button, the full stop, to zoom in have a look at your aeroplane okay so pretty handy control will always sort of take you down to a nice steady level zoom back out so let's go to shift and number three number three is the end of runway this one will track you as you fly around and uh, as you come into land if you see the landing ones uh, landing approach parts of the, my videos uh, this is what i use it will follow you around you can zoom again in and out with it and you'll be able to watch the aircraft come towards you. So as it goes left out here and flies around, and you'll see it come back in towards you, but it won't really uh, rotate that far in this particular view as we're waiting. Number four. Now, number four is a good one because when you're up in the air, it will do a fly past for you. So shift and number four will fly past. And you're up in the air, and that's a good one. And you can still zoom in and out with that if you want to do that because it's not always as close as you might want. Shift and number five, that's our tower view. And you can rotate around in your tower. 
and have a bit of a look around if you want, but you can see it starts to, to twist a little bit as you move away from your aircraft. So that one is there. Ooh, there we go. And again, you can zoom in if you wish. Use your Q and your E key to rotate. Um, but you can't go left and right, up and down with this one. You can't use your arrow keys in this particular one. So number six is just a tail view. Again, you can zoom in and out with that one. You can go back. You can rotate around the aeroplane. And you can kind of normally save these external views. Um, it's a bit of a pain that. It would be nice to get that little wing one uh, sitting over here. But it often won't let you save them. If I um, take the brakes off and just let it roll forward, Staying, staying there, but you can't save that view, so you need to sort of set yourself up to get the brakes on. And then number eight, we're back inside. That's a tail view, and then really got a global view shift nine. That really doesn't do much. It's another another version of the cockpit view. Um, I can't see any different difference in it to be honest, guys. I'm not really sure why it's there. Now there's a couple of other things we can go through as well. Um, you can find these up in the menu, but um, if you want to change the tint, so your uh, this is your natural tinted view, if you like the way that it goes. So, but you can actually change your views. Uh, you can put your sunglasses on with Shift S, and you can see that just darkened a little. That's off. That's on, off, and uh, you can use night vision. Shift N, N for night vision. It goes greeny. Um, I don't know whether it actually helps you at night time, but it is certainly there. It's an effect. Uh, 3D pass, shift P. Now you may not see this on from runway, where we two, are. One, left. On runway, two, one, left. We'll go outside, so let's go shift four. And with this particular version, you're not going to see anything until you're actually moving. So let's have a quick takeoff. Get ourselves into the air quickly. I'm not going to do any of those circuit. So I just wanted to get through this quickly, but we can show you this my very poor text. It must have a bit of a crosswind. Now, guys, if you're interested uh, in anything you need new for your sim or you're looking for more information about X Plane 11, DCS, or Microsoft Flight Simulator, we're getting there as well on let'splinebfr.com. Um, doing a lot more tutorial stuff on there for you. So please come visit. And have a look and if you need any gear you can support the channel if you wanted to buy anything um, i have affiliate amazon links there um, so that if you want to look at anything from there you certainly can uh, four, so now looking at the 3d part this just leaves a trail behind you again so shift and p okay. i was playing with it earlier <laughs> and uh, physics, control, and M. Now, this one you can cycle through. And you can see around the top there at the moment, and underneath the tail, you can see some of the wind effects there. Through it again, you can see more details of that something you can do. And if you're creating more parts, it's going to be helpful. Through it again, and then you can see the lift and what's happening with your car. That's control and in. You can put some things and you can see and we go around the corner and away we go. So there's all the views, guys, um, which you get in the point open. I hope that's you found that easy. So we've done the internal views. Let's go back inside. So again, we can go seven and four to look around. I've set up number three there for the close-in view, number five can be a co-pilot view if that's what you need. And remember it's control and just use the shift uh, control and the numpad keys to save the views however you like them guys. So I hope you found that helpful, thanks for your time. And if you've got any questions please leave some leave those in the question or the comments below and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. I do answer everybody. I don't think there's anybody I've never answered. Um, I certainly do my very best. So I look forward to catching you back here at Let's Fly VFR again. 
real soon and I will catch you in the air. See you later. Bye-bye.